Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Armored Core 5. We are once again joined by my cat, who is sitting on my chest and being adorable and also being kind of in the way. So, we'll see how that goes. Last episode, we uh, kind of got stuck a bit on a fight versus two rival ACs, and the first one is nothing, but the second one has a sniper weapon that is incredibly hard to dodge and does an insane amount of damage. I've had a little time to think about it, and I don't know if this is going to work at all, but my tentative conclusion is that conventional combat is a losing proposition in this fight, and we need to do something highly specialized that we ordinarily wouldn't do, but for this particular fight, maybe it will work out for us. I'm going to try it. <clears throat> so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy and equip a leg type that we have not made use of yet. And that would be the tetrapod, the quad legs. Why? Because they have high stability and are suited for sniping with heavy firearms. Which probably gives you a hint as to what it is that I'm considering. So we'll just buy the best set of quad legs that we can afford. Now this is the most expensive, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best. It does have less loading capacity. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to get the Grappa, even though it's cheaper than the Zonkolin, which would suggest it's uh, not as good. To me it seems better. Okay. Now the next change is we are going to get some very specialized weaponry. The longest range, hardest hitting weaponry that we can possibly afford. Well, I mean, we can afford basically anything for sale, so that whatever the longest range, hardest hitting weapon is that's for sale. Now I'm not sure exactly what that will be. I think we're going to have a lot of choices. Okay, so now sentry gun. Laser cannon, maybe. We want something with crazy optimal range. Okay, so 522. We're going to do some comparisons and see whatever has the best. Okay, that's a joke, so pulse cannon is not long range. Alright, laser cannon is the best so far in terms of range. Still the best. You'd think a howitzer would have... Okay, now we're getting somewhere. A sniper cannon. 840. Ammo capacity is very low, but... And... The attack power is also through the roof. So I'm thinking the Ithaca sniper cannon is looking very promising. Okay, and I think we're out of the really long range stuff. Yeah, auto cannons are not super long range. Ithaca sniper cannon, it is, I do believe. Thank you. And I think I might get two of them, one for each arm. Here we go. Okay, now to the assembly screen. We've got some changes to make. I'm going to be sad if I go to all this trouble and I still just get wrecked. Okay, sniper cannon for the left. Sniper cannon for the right. get uh, extra magazine. There we go, reserve magazine. Good. Unequip our bay weapons. Actually, it looks like we don't need to because we're back below our loading limit. Well, let's see if that remains true once we switch legs. I'm not sure which actually has the better loading. 
Okay, looks like pretty comparable. And a super long range fire control system. The one with the 500 lock on range. There we go, the Uzume. Uh, let's remember that we have the Ot crit currently equipped. Okay, this is either going to be amazing or hilariously bad. My cat's purring up a storm. Who knows what that means? Could mean anything. Alright, you two. I've got your number this time. Or not. We'll see. They may be strong, but do we really need to double up on them? When we win, people are bound to call it underhanded. Your skills may have improved, but you sound as dumb as ever. You've forgotten. Dead men tell no tales. Main system activating combat mode. All right. All right, is he dead already? Beautiful. We sure go through the ammo quick, though. All right. Oh, we're within his firing range. That's not what I want. I want to be just outside it. Okay. I'm not sure if those were hitting him. No, 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 no. The corpse is in the way. Okay, the corpse is dead. I know, corpse is an odd thing to call it. We did it! Okay, <laughs> that worked out. The answer wasn't to fight well, the answer was to put together a cheap build. Guess I should have said husk rather than corpse, but whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, we did it. Alright, now that that's done, uh, I'm going to reconfigure my mech, my AC, back to its normal configuration, because that is obviously a highly specialized build that is not suitable for general purpose combat. That was satisfying, though. We wrecked their faces. All right, back to the rifle. Right, we got a better one than the Jessup, the Lamport. It was a big event. And the battle rifle. Put this back to... I think the Dimaper is the one we were using. And, okay, shotgun and Gatling done, and then back to our normal legs and fire control system. There we go. Mission accomplished. Now that that's done, let's try the next story mission. Chapter 8. Difficulty is rated as less than the match we just did, but again, the difficulty levels often seem kind of random. We are fighting the corporation and the remnants of the city police. Our mission is to escape. So, if our mission as the resistance was to overthrow the totalitarian government, it, has that been accomplished? Maybe the corporation did our job for us. But they don't really seem any better, so I guess our enemy is the corporation now. The 
corporation, erstwhile servants of father, began their indiscriminate destruction of the city. To them, father was nothing more than a mere pebble in their path. The city had begun to fall. The resistance had no hope of standing up to the corporation in a battle of attrition. And so, they abandoned the city. The city seems pretty screwed. Corporation forces are on an indiscriminate rampage throughout the city. So what are they gaining by destroying the city? I mean, I get if they wanted to overthrow Father and take control, but why blow up the city? What is the point of these actions? Why, Rosary, have you secretly been a Sundere this whole time? You actually like everybody. And you just insult us as your weird way of showing affection. Uh, would you die, please? My shots must have been hitting the wall. Okay. Someone's trying to snipe me. Is it this guy? Oh, there's also enemies up in my grill. Can I please kill the sniper, because he's pretty annoying. Alright, took him down. System scan mode. Guess I'm just going around and causing as much chaos to the enemy as possible to help cook. Excuse me, what the heck? To help cover the retreat. Boy, that was a weird thing my throat did. Oh, am I over water? That explains why I can't uh, jump. I didn't even realize I was over water. It's so polluted, it doesn't necessarily look like water. A lot of snipers, these Ammons. Alright, go that way, huh? Can do. Looks like I can't enter Glide Boost while I'm on the water. Scan mode. There's a garage. Do I need it? Wouldn't hurt, I think. I have taken quite a bit of damage. System combat mode. We should be able... Roger that. I'll be right there. Didn't mean to cut off Fran there. Or Rosary, whoever was talking. Cut it off so fast that I didn't see.
I'm happy with my loadout. Don't feel the need to change anything. Oh, we're dropping down in this tunnel, huh? System scan mode. Okay, I turned the wrong way. Here we go. System combat mode. System scan mode. Now let's go ahead and regenerate power. There we go. RD. Whenever I get that sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach, I can tell you're nearby. Stop this foolishness, RD. Oh, but I will, Rosie. I'm going to stop running once and for all. Now, I destroy whatever scares me. All right, you're dead, psycho. That's fine. That's what they told me. You're crazy. You've lost your mind. Lost my lock. There we go. Some genius pilot this guy is. What? Did I go from being one second away from winning to dead when I was basically at full strength? So I guess he has a one hit kill point blank range weapon is what I gathered from what just happened. Okay, so stay far away from him. Understood. That was an unpleasant surprise. Because I, I, I mean, I, he was down to what? A couple thousand AP? I'd literally won. And I don't think I'd taken hardly any damage. So yeah, I went from I have won to dead. Well, we won't let that happen again. Main system activating combat mode. Now that I know you have an I win button, RD, I'm not going to let you push it. Yeah, it's a cheap jerk who's supposed to be a genius pilot, but actually he sucks, but he can just push an I win button if you get too close. That's what's waiting for me. Yeah, yeah, here I am. Alright, RD, we're not having any more of that. Okay, please get out of the water, thank you. I kind of get hung up on the edge of the water there. That's something to watch out for. Okay, I fell in the water again. Didn't mean to do that. That could be real dangerous if it were to happen while he was getting close. Come on, lock onto him. What on earth are you on about? I can do it. I really can. RD. It's all my fault. No, you're wrong. He made his choice. Yeah, he's just a psycho. Does he sound like a stable personality to you? What are you on about how this is easy, RD? I kicked your butt and then you ran away. Is it running away with your tail between your legs that's easy? Is that what you were talking about? Hmm. 
wonder what RD stands for. Well, imagine how long this journey would be without Glide Boost. Well, I think I'd better turn it off to save some uh, energy. Oh, there's enemies anyway. Hey, the rockets, or the missiles rather, actually fire. I guess the ceiling's high enough. Now this is narrow and constricted. What on earth is a flying type doing in a narrow tunnel? You seem out of your element. We have some weird but kind of cool music playing for this part. It does have that sort of climactic... That climactic everything has gone horribly wrong, but we're still desperately fighting feeling. No, not another train. No. Not another train. If I can get through this without fighting the train, I will. PTSD, man. I assume that's a... Is that one of our choppers? And I was shooting it earlier. Oops. My bad. Good. I'm your opponent, fools. Okay, that's, is that ours? Leave it alone. There's the train, I think. If I have to fight it, I will. Well, if it's not going to constantly run away from me, it will be a much more bearable fight. Good, I want to attract its attention as much as I can so it leaves the chopper alone. Good. I'm trying. Yeah, this is a far more bearable fight when the train is not constantly running away and I have to spend like 20 minutes of the mission chasing it. You can see how insanely durable it is, though. Well, I don't really know what to do about it. I'm fighting the train, 
So the train should be attacking me and not the chopper, hopefully. Nope, oh, sorry. I guess other... I guess other enemies must have been attacking him. Alright. Come on, land. It's so floaty. Not really sure. I guess I should have ignored the train. Because I assume other enemies were attacking those choppers. Oh, someone on my tail. Ah, screw him. Ouch. Uh, this way. Mm, can't really use the glide boost in a situation like that. Oh wow, I've gone through my rifle ammo as well. It's because I used up so much ammo fighting the uh, the train. Yeah, you can see why I had to reload multiple times. I, I cut out most of my fight with the train because it was so long, it was ridiculous. But I had to reload multiple times at the garage because it was so durable. Shame about losing those two choppers, but hey, at least two of them got away. Is this where I'm about to fight RD? Are we at the point where the game began? Oh, I okay, I'm getting a free reload and repair. I think I like the weapons I've got. So, RD, are you a major boss battle, then? I think I need to stay away from him or he has an insta-kill. We'll be leaving the residential sector soon. No problems yet. Yep, we've finally caught up. Get harder from here on out. Life on the outside can be pretty brutal. To the tutorial mission. But you're coming with us, right? Which was indeed a flash forward. You know, me would have laughed at the idea, but I guess I've changed. Maybe money isn't everything. <laughs> Besides, it'd be more fun to tag along with you guys. Why did you miss? I believe I ordered you to take out the AC. They dodged. I guess Rosie still has a few tricks up her sleeve. But that won't save you in the end. I see. Do as you please, then. Just get that AC. I don't know why the corporation hates me in particular so much. I guess I have gotten in their way a lot. You can't run from me. I'm not trying to this run from you. you die. That's not just, gonna happen. just come on out, R.D. You will never defeat that AC. And you're the one that's gonna die. That's right. Oh, just try it then. Where is he is the question. I'm just here doing donuts trying to see where he is. Come on out, RD. You want to fight or not? Well, maybe if I follow the route, he'll come out. There he is. Is that the thing that one-shotted me? Nice try.
Yeah, it's a one-hit kill. So, RD, this doesn't make you a genius pilot. It means you have a really overpowered AC, is all it means. Okay, how to avoid that. How to avoid that. Wonder if this is another fight that calls for a specialized build. How far back did it put me? Alright, I think I have to fight these guys out of scam mode. Would appreciate a save point right before the fight with RD, but at least it's uh, not very far before that. Yeah, that uh, one-hit kill weapon you've got there, RD, sure makes it easy to fight, doesn't it? Don't get too full of yourself just because they gave you an overpowered AC. I'll show you how powerless you are by defeating you even in that overpowered thing. Are you okay, Rosary? Don't you realize you can't run from me? This time you die. That's not gonna Come on, act okay. Belatedly activated the glide boost. That was weird. Glide boost, please. I don't know why I have so much trouble get Okay, it very belatedly activated again. Come on, game. Give me the glide boost. There we go. Feels fiddly sometimes. Alright. Yep, here he comes. No, get away from me. Nice try. Oh, my turn speed is a problem. I'm happy with him staying far away from me. Uh-oh, here he comes. I'm about to die. Okay, I dodged it. So close, so close, so close. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, we got him. No, you're not. Piss off. I don't want to die. Well, you're dead. Traitorous scum. You're a little scary, you know that? Everything you touch turns to ash. Well, it's because everything I touch is trying to kill me. So yeah, it's a weird final duel with RD. 
almost kind of disappointing in a way. Uh, I was hoping for basically just a really epic, fast AC duel. That's not really what you get. It's more like you play Keep Away with his super overpowered one-hit kill weapon. Which, I don't know. It's just not as cool as what I was hoping for. But it is what it is, and the traitor's dead now, so that's what matters. Alright, that's another story mission done. I have a feeling we're getting very close to the end of the game. Uh, I suspect there's only one or maybe two story missions left. So that means I think I'm going to do... I don't know how many order missions are left, but I think I'm just going to do every remaining order mission before we do any more story missions. Because like I said, I suspect this could be the last one or maybe the second to last. It certainly has that feel to me. So finishing all the remaining order missions seems like the order of the day. So that's what we're going to be doing starting in the next episode. I'll see you then.